Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Concept Tools. In today's class, we will discuss about web security considerations. Before entering our topic, first of all, we'll, we should know what is web security. Web security is nothing but providing security of the data over the net, internet or over the network or else when you are transferring the data from client to server or one your system to another system. At the time, the data will be transferred over the network. If you are providing the security while transferring the data, is also called web security. Okay, we have to protect our data on internet. That is called web security. We will we have one more definition. What is web security? A web security is also known as cyber security. Is also known as cyber security. Okay, it. What is the meaning of this one? It is basically protecting a website or web applications by detecting or preventing and responding the cyber threats. Okay, what is the meaning of cyber security? Means protecting a website or web applications by detecting the and preventing and responding cyber threat is called cyber security. Okay, here in order to escape from attacks we need the security okay there are there are several security considerations okay we will discuss one by one the first okay there are several security Consideration. Okay, we will discuss one by one. The first one is updated software. What is updated software? Okay, for example, <coughs> when you are joined any course or when you are joined any training class, okay, once if you join any course, the instructor will ask you, please update your system to install the software's requirement. If you need to install your software, you need to reach our the minimum requirements. That is called updation. Okay, here also let us, you need to always update your software. For example, once you join in the office, if you want to access some of the office websites, on your mobile or your computer, they will ask you to that phone or the, that they will ask you to you should update time to time to get the more more updates. Okay, that is called updated softwares. Okay, that you should be the second consideration is. Beware of SQL injection. Okay, what is meaning of SQL injections? SQL injections are nothing but the data is inserted in tables like in rows and columns. Okay, the hacker will be insert the data in the form of rows and columns to disturb the integrity of the data. This is called SQL injections. Okay, what is SQL injection means? SQL injections is nothing but the data will be inserted in the form of tables. Generally, table contains what? Tables contains the rows and columns. Okay, the hacker will also insert the data in the row table to confuse or to alter our data. Okay, it is called beware of the in SQL injection. Okay. SQL injection meaning but data will be stored in rows and columns in the tables. Same like that, the hacker will also insert the data in rows and columns to disturb out the integrity of the data. That is called beware of the injection, SQL injection. And the third consideration is cross site scripting. Okay, that is called third is called cross site scripting. We can call XSS. Okay, what is cross-site scripting? 
rocket is also called SSS. Here attacker will send here attacker will send site scripting to your website like any data is related into the client. For example, they will send the forms. Okay, once you click on that, they will hack our data. Okay, this is called cross site scripting. Okay, it is also called as excesses okay here what happened here attacker will send site scripting to your website okay like any data related into related to the client okay he will send some related data of our okay by looking that if you click on that we will the data will be attacks okay that is called for example they will send the like forms our website forms okay by looking that we will consider we will Think about is our, is our website only so like if you click on that the data will be hacks okay the fourth consideration is error message what is error message when we are giving in the password and username to any website sometimes we are forget the password in that case we will get an error message like your password and username is wrong okay in that cases the attacker will not have clarity whether the attacker will enter the wrong password or wrong username. Okay, this is called error message. Okay, what I mean the error message is generally when you are logging into a website, if you give a wrong username and password, what are the messages will be displayed? Those messages are called error messages. Okay, clear. This is also one of the uh, web security consideration. When you are giving the username and password wrong, those cases will get error messages. Okay, in these cases, attacker will not have clarity whether the attacker will enter wrong password or wrong username. In these cases, the attacker will not have any clarity whether the attacker will enter the wrong password and username. Okay, this is called error message and the fifth consideration is passwords okay what is passwords okay the passwords are always should be strong okay it means it should be a minimum eight characters okay so the attacker will not able to get the passwords okay passwords okay here the passwords always should be strong it, it means what minimum of eight characters minimum of eight characters so the attacker will not able to get the passwords the attacker will not able to get the password okay to to keep more security passwords we can also use the symbols as the password then attacker is not able to crack our passwords okay this is also one of the security consideration the sixth one is data validation okay what is data well okay here the data validation is the, the the shared data or exchanging data should be correct the board the data you are sharing is exactly correct or not that will be validated by client side and server side okay both will be accepted 
then only it is the valid data otherwise it is not valid data okay these are the six web security considerations we have okay if you have any doubts please ask me in comment section thank you very much channel per gurtundi ga please like share and subscribe